overnight hours. Notice future track 1 o'clock in the morning. We've got some pretty heavy rain developing right over the Treasure Coast. So from Martin County to Indian River County, right around Lake Okeechobee, you have a good chance of seeing this rain through the overnight. It begins to push further south as we move into Sunday morning. We're talking 7, 8, 9 o'clock. Palm Beach County finally getting in on the action, but the heaviest of the rain again concentrated on the Treasure Coast and again into the afternoon. 2, 3 o'clock on future track, showing you now heavy rain starting to move into Palm Beach County. And this will just linger through the rest of the afternoon and again into the evening. So your rain chances come Sunday about a 30 to 40 percent shot. Monday down to a 30 percent and then Tuesday into Wednesday. Finally starting to dry out as high pressure moves back in for a short amount of time. So tonight's forecast, scattered showers, a few storms mixing in, especially on the Treasure Coast through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. Much cooler and less humid tonight thanks to a northeast wind at 5 to 10, a low of 70 degrees. The further south you are, the warmer you'll be. If you are living on the Treasure Coast or around Lake Okeechobee, you can have lows tonight in the 60s. So it'll be a pretty pleasant evening and a pretty pleasant day tomorrow when it comes down to temperature and humidity levels. They'll be a lot cooler. However, it's going to rain for a good portion of the morning and into the afternoon. Again, focus on the Treasure Coast. Isolated showers to start becoming more widespread through the afternoon. It's breezy as well with a northeast wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Your beach and boating forecast, it's not going to be the best day to get out because of the rain, but if you do happen to, you've got to use some caution if you're going out on the boat. Winds out of the northeast at 15 knots, rip currents are high, and seas right at 4 to 6 feet. Here's South Florida certified most accurate forecast. Over the next 48 hours, rain chances are up to about a 30 to 40 percent shot as that front sits and meanders back and forth right over the Florida Peninsula. Winds also pick up speed and out of the north and east, so of course that pulls in low level moisture as well. That's why we see the morning showers. Temperature wise, we cool down a a little bit for tomorrow, then warming right back up come Monday and lingering throughout the rest of the upcoming work week. Our temperatures will be above normal overnight lows down into the mid 70s, pretty much where they should be. And then rain chances ramp right back up late next week. Gianna. All right, Brittley, thank you. In your health headlines.